I wanted to um, have like kind of like a block party kind of thing, okay. where everybody's smoking weed on the block, but you know, and then the cops can like stop people from going in that area. Cold and rainy out here today. We're at Woodbury City Police Department, New Jersey. I'm here with Southeastern PA. I'm uh, here with the resistance. Cold out here. Will be prosecuted. They're gonna prosecute you. What is the definition of prosecuted? It is chilly out here, man. So this is where all the action happens. This is the gate we're on. This is where all the action happens here in Woodbury, New Jersey. They have their own little um, LED light up signs and stuff. Member at the front desk, so please pick up the phone him. and call the dispatch center. Pick up when no one's sitting at the front desk. Come down and get a mail and give it. Uh, whatever. I guess I'll just pick up this thing. This is the price. Uh, yeah, uh, we're here at the front desk. I just wanted to get a little bit of information. Uh, Woodbury. Just need to get a little bit of information from an officer at the window. Um, I wanted to get a IA complaint form, and I wanted to talk about a couple other things. I didn't give it. I didn't give it. Uh, n no thanks. Okay, well, we get this information for the officers, we send them in, it's just for the record. You, you can call me a good guy. Uh, okay. Good guys are here. And you're at Woodbury Station, uh, in Big Yeah, I just need to get an IA complaint form. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. She really want my name. I don't know why they always really want your name. I don't know what that means, like... Why does it matter? Uh, uh, you sure do want names. This guy. Right names here. and crack. ID. Patrolman Ryan. There you go. He was a school resource officer. He was the entire district. Yeah, I'm sure he did a lot of good things, but... Fuck around here. Hello? Okay. 16 oh, There's three. somebody coughing back there. I heard somebody coughing. Is that somebody back there you heard? No, I Was that you? I was just hoping they hear me. What's this sign right here you're talking about? You see pizza? Please be advised that all citizen complaints are to be signed in. That's for Township Municipal Court. Citizen complaints are to be signed in Deadfoot Township Municipal Court. Well, I guess they the use government. their court? Yeah, citizen complaints. Are to be signed in Deputy Township Municipal Court. Cooper, we have to handle him. We got to go to 
backed by that for yeah. Championships and the most important to have them someone to sign off on it. Right. When did that start? 1-1-2020. <laughs> wow. Last year, huh? I've never heard of anything so silly in my life. Acknowledging our responsibility to the citizens of Woodbury City, our source of authority. You, to to you see this? Oh, yeah, there. I'll talk to him. You guys can talk to him, too. Acknowledging our responsibility to the citizens of Woodbury City, our source of authority. Performing our duties within the spirit and the letter of the laws and constitution and all that gibberish. They don't really actually believe this stuff. This is just there for show. Department two, it's not different. This ain't different. This ain't different. This is good. Oh, that's for the number. Oh, that's for their um, court. So that's, I mean, that doesn't have anything to do yeah, with that's complaints. For, that's for the court. What's a series of complaints? So I guess you got to call and ask them why we have to have to be signed. Or, I don't, I don't really, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they're going to answer this. After hours on a Saturday? Probably right. Yeah, but, but but there should be somebody that can come up and help us here. I mean, the door is open, right? So I don't understand why nobody's coming to help us. Is it because we came with camera in hand? Hello, and thank you for calling the Woodbury Police Department. There you go. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Chatter some somewhere. I hear a radio or chat. Oh, I see shadow. I see somebody. Hey, you got him, hey Dylan, buddy. Hey, what can I do for you? Yeah, I just wanted to get IA complaint form, and I wanted to. I had a question about um, um, extra duty assignments. Um, you might have to see my supervisor on a call when he comes in. He's more than happy to talk to you. All right, sure, sure. You know how long he's going to be? Uh, a few minutes. All right, buddy. You know, just give you forms. I should be out in the lobby. So they want to make phone calls and see you figure it out and decide if you come out. As well as I don't know. I don't know what it was. I have no clue. They act like these police departments don't have people manned here. Like everybody's out. It's, it's not true. Why would you leave your doors open to a place where I could come in here and start burning this place down if I was a psychomaniac, okay. you know what I'm saying? And not have somebody man here to know that, hey, there's an emergency here. It doesn't make any sense. It, it, it's not, it doesn't happen. No, it doesn't, and uh, a few minutes is <coughs> not even gonna be close. Yeah, yeah, yeah a couple you minutes. Give you a piece of paper. Just go in the back, I, grab a form, yeah. and then we're out the door. I want to ask him if he got the key to this. Yeah, we we got we have to inspect it. I, want to see, I, want, I need the damn records too. Yeah, we see what's in it, please. And then if they do them. have the key and they empty it or deal with it once a week, then where's the records of what they pull out? I need the records where's go? immediately. Where's the paperwork? I want yeah. all the records of all the drugs. Well, it's coming from the public, right? Yeah. All the records of all the vitamins that are in that picture. For too many New Jerseyans, addiction begins in the medicine cabinet. Yeah, I'm having smoke out here. Smoke right now. Smoke it. 
serious? <laughs> I don't see a sign. Says, <laughs> <laughs> you set that fucking fire alarm off, yo, and the fucking shit comes down off the fucking water damage, yo, you're gonna fucking pay for it all, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> Waiting at Woodbury to play cop games. Waiting at Woodbury. <laughs> Playing cop games. Hey, you're a supervisor in charge tonight? Yes, sir. I can help you. Yeah, you just. Are you guys all together? Yes. Okay. What? What? I can help you. Well, we just divorced. We just divorced two months ago, but we're still kind of cool and trying to figure things out. But. We are still um, together. Who's that? I guess we're still together. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm just making light. Um, what's going on. Yeah, I'm here. I need to. Uh, you, I, want, you want to go outside and talk? No, thanks. I don't really In the report intake room? No, no. I just need a uh, complaint form, and I also need um, to know about extra duty assignments. You guys do them here? We do, yes. For, for traffic? And, yes. Um, I wanted to um, have a, kind of like a block party kind of thing. Okay. Where everybody's smoking weed on the block, but, you know. And then the cops can like stop people from going in that area. Okay. Yeah, that would you would have to just make a permit over at City Hall. They'll give you the paperwork for the block. City board. Hall, which one? The old one or the new one? Well, the one on Delaware Street, thirty three Delaware Street. That's the one right. across the street or on this side? The address is thirty three Delaware Street. It's right next to Okay, thirty three Delaware Street, fair enough. Um so I have to go there to get the uh to, to get the permit for, for the block board, yes, sir. Okay, great. Um and uh IA complaint form. Okay. If you have them available here. Sure. I have one in the back. Right. And, uh, there's a paperwork I need you to fill out for it. And then I'll take all your information. Paperwork, paperwork I need to fill out for it. Like what your complaint is. I'll what? show it to you. Let me get it. All right. Can sure. we just take it with us? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can take it. I mean, you can make yeah. it now or you can take it and fill it out. Yeah, we'll just take it with us and we'll, we'll bring it back. We don't have okay, to yeah. Kind of go over it, you know. Yeah, I'll explain it to you. There's a cover sheet that you put all your inf contact information on. Then you fill out what... The complaint is, and then this on-duty supervisor will take your complaint and okay. it to our internal affairs uh, department. So you can, we can just get a complaint form, fill it out, come back. Yes. Submit. And then just speak to the on-duty supervisor sure. to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to finalize it. And then what I do is I pass it on to Naturally. our internal Naturally. affairs department. Naturally, yeah. Okay. So who right. holds the key for these? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. That's or captain maybe, or lieutenant. So that's above the police department. Is there a record of what is done with these, with this? So that's what I want to get down. I'm, I'm not aware. That's, that's above my paper. What you pull out of it, where the records are, how many times you open it a week or a month. Yeah, that would probably be our captain or our administrative sergeant. I can give you their name and number. They'll be in Monday. Okay. Right on, right on. Okay. So you yep. Have you have Thank you. I figured the county would come around and collect it once a month. Yeah, I mean, they may. I'm, I'm unaware. They may do that. But I, I don't know that uh, the answer to that question. Yeah, Our captain, administrative sergeant. Uh, right. Appreciate it. Righto, righto. Dude, that was weird. That he, woman counter. He handled it well. Yeah, he did. Most of <laughs> he handled it really well. That was funny. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, the cigarette bottle comes out. We just got divorced. That was, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. He's like, uh, well, well, in this day and who? age, in this he day said, and age. He said, who? Which one? <laughs> in this day and age, you have to take it seriously, you know? There you go. So here's the mission statement. We should ask him. I should go like this. What's your mission statement? <laughs> 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 See if you can recite the oath you took Oh, no. Yo, before we leave, it has to be the last thing. We, we, we chum them up and shit and be all cool and just be like, hey, one thing, though. We have to know. Do it. You got to do it. You should know by heart. This is taking too long. I got one right back here. In two seconds. Alright, here's that complaint form. On page two, you have to fill out your name, the nature of the complaint, and you know, sign it dated. Right on. And this has to go back to a supervisor because they have to sign it down the bottom. Yeah, I understand and it gets numbered and yep. all that and filed. That's yours. Appreciate I couldn't it. find any business cards, right. but I wrote our captain and our administrative sergeants name and number down for that box. 
Right, right, right. You call them tomorrow or Monday. Okay. And my name is Corporal Stagger. All right. Why are you shaking so much? I'm sorry? You were shaking your hands or shaking. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, okay. All right, good. Um, one question. How do you pronounce your last name? Stagger. You have a badge number? 369. Yeah, how do you pronounce that again? Stagger Wand? Wald. I didn't want to, I, yeah, see, I ruined it. That's fine, right here. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm unclear on what complaints uh, that we would have to take to death for. Is that like civil complaints? Or yeah. is that. It would be like, uh, yeah, if you were to sign a complaint against your neighbor. Oh, okay. Or if you got a like a traffic ticket. Our court matters are now handled in Dufford Township. Oh, the court matters for Woods, yes. Woodbury are just all handled over there? Yes. Okay. That makes it, sense used, it used to be East Greenwich. Right. And they switched. It's now. Uh, East Greenwich, all the way over there? Yeah. It's like a shared service uh, agreement that they have. I'm sure well, it is. Currently with Dufford Township. <laughs> I'm sure it All is. Right, so now, now you can, one last thing, you can impress us. You want to give us the, your mission statement or the oath that you took by heart? The mission statement or the oath that I took? Yeah, which one do you want to let us know that you know by heart? I don't know any of them by heart. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Because an oath. I mean, that, I mean, they're right behind you on the wall there. If you'd like yeah, to. You don't know them, huh? Not off the top of my head. No. Really? Yes. It should be. It should be like drilled every morning at every every day, like that, like the Pledge of Allegiance. Right. Uh, yeah. No, they don't. They don't. And the oath that you took when you first signed up, you don't remember any of that at all? That was 20 years ago. Really? You know, I was a Boy Scout. I remember the oath I took when I was about 50 years ago. Okay. I still remember. You're a better man than I am. It, it might it's not that a better man. It's just that an oath is something that's sacred and, and and to your soul and to your heart and for the rest of your life. And you would think that you would. Follow your oath and your oath statements just every day. Why do we have policies and procedures we gotta follow and things like that? Like no officer ever remembers their oath. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it, it may seem like we're picking, but we as the public, those good are officers who, you know, go out there and do the things that you guys have to do. Sure. You know, we're in service weapons and have to be well protected to understand as well that, you know, you're not above the law. But you also like to follow the law as well. Because, yeah, absolutely. I mean, as we know, within the past few years, there's been a lot of uprise of officers running around lawlessly, and still is to this current day. Right, so you see it on the news all the time. And we feel as though the mission statement should be implanted in you guys' heads mm -hmm. to remind you that, you know, hey, well, you're out there and for. don't get me wrong, I understand split second decisions, we can't speak for that when that happens with you guys out there on the street. But, I mean, there's far less things that happen where. They don't follow your guys' policy. They don't follow the law, period. So just think that that mission statement on oath should always be. Uh, well, as you're making your daily decisions when you deal with the public and, and your job, you should say, well, what did my oath, what, what did my mission statement say? Oh, wait, wait, I have to protect your dignity. I can't be a dick. Yeah. I can't act like this. Exactly. I, I have to now. So if you don't remember kind of what you're being hired for and what your job really is, then it maybe skews your actions out in the field. A little bit, you know what I mean? You know, it's, it's just something that really should. To me, it's amazing that people don't know their oath. You know, I know Marines that know their oath. I know Army guys that know their oath that they take till the day they die. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's important for a Boy Scout or Girl Scout to remember theirs, and it should definitely be important for you know, LEO, a law enforcement right. officer, to remember theirs. I mean, Absolutely. I mean, it's always there. We refer to it if we need it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it just gets forgotten, and the impression of authority and. You know, some people take it too far, and, and we can only hope that cops like you can stop other cops from doing yes, that. Sir, or just pat them on the shoulder and say, hey, hey, come here. You know, I'm not going to say this too loud in front of everybody, but don't do that. You know, yeah. things like that, you know. Do you remember, like, the first sentence at all? Like, I solemnly swear to anything like that at all when you're oath, when you signed up? Yeah, um, you're kind of putting me on the spot right now, so I don't... Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't mean it's to okay. just... Uh, it's like a quiz. Too. Yeah. It, would, yeah. it would come so natural to me, is all I'm saying. So maybe, so you, yeah, well, maybe I'm different than, than some of our public servants. Thanks a lot. I think so. Yes, I thank you. Thank, thank you so much, sir. man. All right, man. I appreciate you it. Know, you know what? Take what care. we can do is I can actually bring in one of those little bins that hold different things, papers, and we can put one up here, and that way you can leave these out in the lobby so we don't have to call for them. Yeah, these complaint forms? Because that's all now. like to, that, to do? That could be a suggestion you bring up to either the captain or the administrator. Sorry. Well, the attorney general already has it on their guidelines for police officers, and you know how the attorney general is like everybody's boss pretty mm -hmm. much in the whole state. You should actually already have them up here. So, so it says that you should have them publicly accessible so somebody can just come in and take one without anybody knowing right off the wall and leave right out like that.
that's a great suggestion. It mm -hmm. could be something you bring up. It's in there. Our captain or our administrative sergeant. Well, you know, could you could you talk to your captain and say, hey, these guys brought up a great suggestion. Um, we should be able to have the police complaint forms over here because you know if we're busy, you know the, yeah, we don't even need to. I mean, yeah, there's a large it's percent. It's a large percent of people who want complaint forms and not be questioned. That's the whole point of them being readily accessible. So, an officer, whoever the, the, the duty sergeant doesn't ask, well, what's your name? What officer? The public shouldn't have to go through that. It should be readily readily accessible and right there on the wall. Mm -hmm. And it's already stated in law that that's where it should be. Okay, well, I'm sure that, that if that's correct, that the change will be coming here. Right on. Soon. Yeah, I'll, I'll maybe I'll email and send over a copy of the um, the actual page in the uh, attorney general's order yeah. that uh, says get them out there. I mean, it would just be very helpful. That way, we don't have to bother. You guys. All, all, all um, my. Uh, superiors emails are on our website so. right and we understand like, everybody wants to find out what's going on first but like you know they're not required to and they should just be like hey I can just sneak in here grab it nobody will see me I go to my attorney we fill it out I hand it in and right. good to go so all right so how do you say your name again Steiger wall what's that German name yes, sir. all right man. take it easy bro. You guys have a good night. Okay. we go in the back uh, lot there and look around at all by chance and do some inventory of your vehicles and stuff you got camp bus back here just for video purposes we can get some b-roll not right now we have uh Maybe they'll walk us back there and stuff. All right, thank you. Yeah, he's just playing. Yep, it's all right. Play away. I think we embarrassed him more than he thought he would. Yeah, he pissed me off after that.